New this hour, a CNN exclusive. A woman used by the president as an Obamacare success story turns on the program. We'll tell you or the White House facing two more embarrassing revelations in the never-ending Obamacare fiasco. First, newly released documents revealing a private consulting firm warned the administration that healthcare.gov, that the, the website, could be a disaster in the making. Way back in the spring, they got these warnings. And the second problem, a CNN exclusive. A Washington state mom hailed as an Obamacare success story by the president in a speech just last month. Well, now she says she can't afford the insurance and blames the state health care exchanges. Let's bring in senior White House correspondent Jim Acosta, who has all of these late details this morning. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Kate. That's right. Jessica Sanford was cited by the president as an Obamacare success story at a health care event he had here at the White House in the Rose Garden on October 21st. Uh, that, of course, being just last month, uh, the 48-year-old single mom from Washington State uh, purchased what she considered to be affordable health care, a life-changing event, she said, on the Washington State Health Exchange, uh, and she decided she was so excited about this news, she wanted to write an email to the president to say that this had really changed her life and that she was thankful for the Affordable Care Act. Uh, the president included her email in his remarks uh, to uh, people on hand for the event. Here's a bit of what the president had to say. I recently received a letter from a woman named Jessica Sant uh, Jessica Sant in Washington State. Here's what she wrote. Uh, I am a single mom. No child support, self-employed, and I haven't had insurance for 15 years because it's too expensive. I was crying the other day when I signed up. So much stress lifted. Uh, but days, uh, just really three days after she was mentioned by the president, Jessica Sanford started having problems. She was receiving letters from the Washington State Health Exchange. The first letter telling her that tax credit was reduced, uh, therefore, uh, therefore increasing the cost of her health care plan. And then uh, take a look at this. Then she received a letter just last week telling her that her tax credit had been taken away altogether. Show you another document here showing what the tax credit worked out to be according to the Washington State Health Exchange. Zero dollars according to this document that was provided to us uh, by Jessica Sanford. Uh, she describes all of this as a roller coaster ride because now she says she can't afford insurance in Washington State because of these new developments. Here's what she told us in an exclusive TV interview. It was like riding a big roller coaster. You know, they have my credit card, they have the payment date, and, and then, you know, once again, I'm knocked down, and this time it's to zero. And at my rate of pay with my family size, I just don't understand why I wouldn't get at least a little help with a tax credit. It was a huge disappointment, and especially since I had, you know, my story had been shared by the president, uh, I felt like, you know, uh, I just felt really embarrassed that, you know, he had quoted my story and then come to find that the Washington Health Plan Finder, the website here in our state, uh, had grossly miscalculated or they're having a problem figuring their tax credits um, and... So at least for right now, I don't, I'm not going to be getting insurance. Now, Jessica Sanford is not alone, according to this letter that she got from the Washington State Health Exchange, also known as Washington Health Plan Finder. Uh, we sa it says that other Washington State residents, applicants to the State Health Exchange, are also receiving these letters, informing them that their tax credits had been miscalculated. When we went back to the uh, Washington State Health Exchange officials for a comment, they said uh, that they were already looking into it and would get back to us. But uh, guys, uh, Jessica Sanford tells us what is so frustrating about all this is that she's a President Obama supporter. She voted for the president. She supports the Affordable Care Act. But she says after being held up as an example of what was working right with the health care plan, according to the president, she now sort of feels like an example of what's not working, at least in her home state of Washington state. And uh, one other thing we should point out, you mentioned that uh, those documents that were released uh, by House Republican Committee uh, chairman uh, last night, uh, those documents indicate that uh, as of last March, senior White House or senior administration officials, including Kathleen Sebelius, the Health and Human Services Secretary, was aware of some of the problems with the website earlier this year, back in March. Uh, those concerns, according to uh, Republican members of this one committee, uh, the Energy and Commerce Committee, uh, they feel like uh, they were not told the full story by Kathleen Sebelius based on those documents that were provided uh, by a consultant uh, firm that was uh, advising the administration on the health care plan.